Hi guys, I'm just gonna show you how I tape up the curled feet. So this little chicken, she had really bad curl feet when she was born. I've taped it up for a few days and it's fixed up this leg and it's kind of fixed up this leg too, but it's still a little curled. So she's walking around no problem, but I just wanna make sure um, we'll fix it as much as I can while she's still little. If you wait too long, you won't be able to fix it. So I get a kind of a fabric tape and I cut it into this size. And I tape it from the top and just when you tape it, make sure because it was curled inside, so I'm going to make it go outside a little bit just to compensate because I've tried to tape this up straight quite a few times already. Oh, uh, children, don't touch Wait, please. why didn't you do that? Because... Make her toes straight. Yep, don't play with it, Oliver. Oliver? I put it down. I'm trying to take video of this. <laughs> go, eat your, go eat your eggs, kids. So I'm gonna... My children is just... Um... Oliver, if you keep doing this, I'm gonna take away your oh. eggs and your, your cheese, yeah? Thank uh, you. No, let it be taken. Too bad. I, I didn't like it. You didn't like the cheese? So I've made it straight now, um, and you just need making sure it's very, very straight. And I'm gonna curl it that way a little bit because it's curled on the inside, just to compensate. And you really do need two people doing this. Sometimes I did it with myself, and it's they don't quite go very well. And so I've taped it up on both sides. And what you do now is is to trim it. Exactly. Alright, I'll deal with the kids later. So just trim it off the excess. Make sure you don't take take the um, toes. Cut off the toes. Very very carefully. This is still cold on the inside. See, it still keep wanting to come inside. I might have to redo this one. Because I probably need to compensate for quite a bit more. And just let's try this and see if it's not still curled inside after a while. Because sometimes I, I make it straight and then after a while it just want to curl inside. So cut it off with the excess fabric. Make it neat and tidy. Some people say to use cardboard. And um, I find it a bit too hard. It doesn't really stay. So I found this tape to be very effective. I've used done the same thing for my quails, and I fixed. Um, I think three of my quails have curl feet. I fixed two. One I fixed most part of it, but one leg I couldn't fix. But she's walking around okay in the end. She still had a bit of curl, but but I fixed most of it. The quail was a lot harder because it's just that much smaller. So when you do this, try to um, not do it by yourself. Get somebody else to hold the chicken for you. And when I did it with the quails, it's mostly just me. Most of the time, so it wasn't easy. So it's done. I'm going to let the nail touch the ground. Just because that's how it should be. I'm going to cut that off. Okay, um, like I said, I probably should have compensated a bit more. But let's see how it goes. So it's straight done. now, can you see? Okay, well, you want to show the video? Hang on, hang on. Can you hold her back? I can hold him. So, see, it's now straight. Oh, I can't see. This way. Yep, it's now straight. And let's just hope that it stays that way. Like I said, sometimes they keep curling back up. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, to hang. Yes, go, go, back, go back here. So the tape I'm using is uh, is this fabric tape you can get from um, any chemist. It's like a few dollars. It's very tough, but, but it, it is hard to take it off later on. So you just have to be really, really careful when you take it off. So just do it very, very slowly. Okay, that's how I take my chicken, um, the curl feet, try to treat the curl feet. She doesn't, she's still getting used to it. Um, 
Looks like I need to cut the I need to cut a bit off just to make sure it doesn't interfere with bending. So I think I need to um David, can you get her please? So what happened is I taped up quite high here, so I need to bring it down a bit so it doesn't interfere with her bending her Is it a knee? It'll be a knee. Oh, wow. Or an ankle. Knee ankle. Ankle. Her ankle. So Anky. she can bend her ankle better. Well, obviously, <laughs> David, you have fat fingers. <laughs> These okay. are manly fingers, Karen. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to make sure you don't limit movement as much as you can. I'm going to peel off the top. I can see. Up a bit. Okay, come down. Top part there. You can see, bring it down. And just make sure that the tape is not in the way of bending her, her ankle. I'm going to cut that fabric off so she can bend. Perhaps we can see joints. Her joints. Okay. Yeah, excuse my children. So this chicken is like, I don't know, she hatched on 20, 19th day, right? Or 20th, 19th day. And she's, oh, now it's 26 days. She's, um, almost six days old or already six days old and she's still the size she can still fit in an egg <laughs> she's a really mini chicken so she hasn't really grown that much and if you can see her next to her friends that have hatched a, a day before her the other chickens are like almost two or two and a half times her size so it's quite funny but she's the loudest she's a mini loud chicken I'm gonna put her here with the ducks because the chickens and the ducks don't really mix. Not because they don't mix, but because if you put ducks, lots of ducks together with chickens, the ducks get very dirty and kind of the chickens can get sick. So I haven't really put the chickens and the ducks together, but I am gonna put this little one with this little duckling because the duckling needs a company. And if it's just one duckling, it's not gonna get that dirty. So it should be okay. I will see how it goes.